G'day and welcome back for more Scrapyard Survival. I've made some decisions around the kind of competitions that I want to do with the other people on the server. And I think I've come up with a good plan for how to work them. So what I want to do is do sort of one on foot or simple basic vehicle challenge and one crane slash forklift challenge each time I do one. Because each time I do kind of an event. So that we've got something that everyone can join in for and something where people can show off their really impressive designs. So the idea I have is, well, the idea I originally had was to do a hamster ball race <laughs> using the rounded armor glass and making a sphere out of it. Unfortunately, a sphere of this is too heavy for the player to reliably move with the improvised experimentation mod. So an alternative I thought of to one that the player can fit in would be to actually just make a ball and have people <laughs> rolling it around on the ground, running alongside it, because that could be kind of silly and kind of fun anyway. I wonder how easy it is to grab and pull with improvised engineering. It's maybe too easy. Yeah, that's probably a bit too easy, because you can carry it. All right, this will require more thought, but I will come up with something that will work. Uh, even if I have to mod an extra version of a cornered window inverted in, that's extremely lightweight. So basically just has one component in it. So that players can get inside them and crawl around with them. But the other competition I have, I think will be a lot of fun because it doesn't rely strictly on your crane's prowess in terms of reach but having reach is an advantage so what I'm thinking the competition should be is oops that is the wrong size of block that's the right size of block how many large grid armor cubes can you stack on top of the other so the option for say my telehandler would be to pick up one put it on top then pick up the bottom one and put the two of them on top of another one, then pick up the three and so on and so forth and see how far I can get with that. And I guess we could sort of have two classes of competition with that, which one of which would be an articulated crane and how high you can get them versus something with fewer subgrids. So I could do it by the number of hinges and pistons, sort of separate by that. So we could have like the, the four and fewer pistons and the four and more and the five and more classes and just see how high people can actually stack them. Because I think it'll be interesting to see the different techniques people try and use to stack the blocks as high as possible. And I think we should probably limit the number of blocks available so that you can try and make a more stable stack. Or, that was meant to be more stable. <laughs> or you can try and build something that's much easier to topple over uh, within a time limit. So say we have 20 blocks and see what people do with it. So that'll be in the next video, not this one. Because between now and when this video goes out, there's probably not enough time to organize everyone together. But I wanted to get the specifics of the plan down. Now, for the hamster ball race, or whatever foot race I end up making instead of that. Oh, actually, I think I know, I think I have an idea. Um, of a hamster ball that could be ridiculous. Just want, got to try one other thing. Um, three by three? Can I move this? Yes, I can. Can I move a 5x5? Five five? Now this is a point where I highlight that um, suspension mounted wheels, they're perfect spheres as their collision. So they're actually really quite easy to roll. <gasps> Can. Can do 5x5s. Five five oh yeah. This works. 
Cool. All right. I'm sold. Five by five wheels it is. Uh, now I need some obstacles for it, which means I need to go out scrapping, and conveniently, it's daytime. So I'm going to go out and have a look and see what sort of... Um, uh, brain? <laughs> I'm going to go out and find what sort of bits of scrap, hopefully some small grid, maybe some large grid little pieces that I can do to set up a little obstacle course around my lake bed here with a little start finish area that we can use and see how quickly people can move the large grid suspension mounted wheels around it using the improvised experimentation. And of course, we can adapt these ideas as we go and find out that things don't work. Like how I originally thought that the uh, hamster ball thing would work, uh, but it doesn't because you it's too heavy. Also, this appears to be dead. It is. That's possibly going to make it a bit tricky to line up to. Oh, can I strongman this? With the handbrake off. Ah! Ah! I don't think so. Because my batteries uh, were not charged. I'm going to need to recharge before I go anywhere. Uh, I'm going to have to put a temporary battery on the truck to try and get it hooked up to the... Oh boy. i got a lot to do to fix this to get this ready to go. I pop one of these little batteries on the side of the truck temporarily. Hopefully that'll allow me to drive to the back, connect up to my crane truck and get charged, but it does make me think that when I come back at some point today, I'm going to need to make a charging point for my truck. But it's okay, while these are charging, I do have something around the base that I want to do, that I think is useful, and that ties into what I was doing last time. Oh. I can use... Weird. Okay. Can I make this a thing? <laughs> um, right, so... Ah, uh, no, no, don't keep moving it backwards. So apparently the merge block strength is enough to move the truck. Oh, don't be like this. There we go. Okay, toggle the battery on. We've got just enough power to do a couple of things. A couple of weeks ago, I talked about how I wanted to... Make my crane truck feel a bit more complete, and I've done zero work on that. But I have made my base feel more complete, and honestly, that was probably the better choice. Making my truck feel more complete when I know I'm probably going to switch up to something that flies eventually. Uh, but I'm not going to replace my base. Makes some sense to me. This is not going to behave, is it? Ooh. If I walk up here and push. You. Yeah, there we go. So, with that in mind, while these are getting charged, and I should probably put this battery on recharge, I have an idea, based on some suggestions from the comments, on how I can store the larger items like these, uh like these large Atmo thrusters and the drills. I'm probably not going to collect a large number of them. So what I'm thinking I will do is I'm going to build a row of magnetic plates along this back wall. And I'm going to hook them up to those. So if I place one, two, three, four, five... Oh. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Grab the parts I need. Five, six, seven, eight... I can put two little control panels down the bottom here to control those nice and easily. I can move these pallets that are in the middle over to shelves on the side so I can actually start using shelving systems like I was planning to. And then if I, well, I, or I could leave these actually under here because there's probably enough space that if I pick up a drill and I attach it to that landing gear up there, that mag plate, it'll hang down, but it won't hang down so far that it'll get in the way of any pallet underneath. Same with the atmospheric thrusters. That's So that's my kind of, my plan with that. And I think I've got three drills. I've got two large Atmo thrusters. That's five. I've still got three more slots up there. At the very least, 
it could be an interesting way of doing it. I could, I guess, attempt to merge block the drills together so that I could have the three of them more compact and placed up there and only take up two of the mag plates if I need to. But for the moment, I think I'll just go one by one. Yeah, that's the plan. All right, so I need a way to get up there and weld those. One down this end. One down this end. I've turned auto lock off for all of these mag plates. And now I'll just add them to my button panels here. Switch lock, switch lock, switch lock, and switch lock. And then I need to figure out how on earth I get this drill oriented the way I want using the telehandler. I don't really have a means with the telehandler handler to rotate that. But I have an idea how to make that happen. Let's grab our handler. Should probably be close to having full charge on the rovers shortly. So once I've got this sorted, I'll go out scrapping. But I've got some more plans for the base when I get back. Because I want to put up a sign. I think I have a way to put up a sign above my warehouse. Written in like proper space engineers letters. Something you may have noticed as well that I've done around here is I've made this platform out here a bit wider so that I don't have to go straight up a ramp into the door of the warehouse and it does make moving with the telehandler when it's loaded especially a lot easier which I'm quite happy about. If I'm going to pick up this drill with my current, with my rig the way it is it's just going to pick it up and it's going to stick it out with the drill pointing outward but I kind of want it hanging downward. So what I'm thinking I will do a rotor on there and put a block on there and I'm going to grab that block and hope things don't explode. Because if I grab that block the, <laughs> the trill will then dangle from that rotor and rota rotate itself to align to gravity. In theory. In practice, I have no idea. Oh, hang on. Before I pick it up, let's give it a little bit of braking torque so that it doesn't just keep spinning forever. One kilonewton meter. Might be enough. Okay, locked. Let's lift. Yeah. That works a charm. Look at that. Ha, huh, perfect. Okay, cool. Uh, let's lift this up nice and high. Bring it back so it's more level. And yeah, I should be able to just uh, park that straight on and then try and grind off the rotor. It'll be nicely hanging. And I think it'll look kind of cool having this row of scrap along the back wall. Drive forward. Jiggle an awful lot. Hop out. Lock. Uh, I hope I can grind that. Okay, this part, not really ideal, but I can just go and detach that. At least then I only leave a road apart on there. That's not the worst. So, I just really wanted this rotated down. I wanted the drill pointing down. <laughs> so I thought it would look better. And I think even with the rotor on there, it does look better. Oh, wait, what am I doing? You're an idiot, Splitzy. You're an idiot. You've got a built-in ramp. One, two, three, up we go. Goodbye, rotor. And we have a hanging drill. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Should be able to do the same with the Atmo thrusters. Although I should get their extra bits off them. These don't really need to be rotated. It was just the drills. But I want spun around that way because I think it's more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> My scrap wall. It will grow. Man, I love this telehandler. It has worked so well. It's functional. It's got some style to it. Not more style than it needs, but it does have some style. It's my favorite sort of build. Something that actually does its job, but looks decent while doing it. 
<laughs> and most importantly, the stuff that I put on it for style has not ruined its function. Alright, got another one. Let's go. Ah, load safety. It's important. Whee! <laughs> it's great. Oh, oh, I'm probably going to smack my door. Not quite. So close. Okay, let's not hit the explosive hydrogen tanks with the swinging drill. Uh, do what I did before and add some braking torque to this. Some of you might be wondering why on earth I'm spending so much time trying to get drills attached to my wall properly. Well, there is sort of a reason for that. I don't expect to use these drills anytime soon. I expect them to be hanging there for a long time. So I'd like them to be hanging in the way that, to me, looks most interesting. Because they're going to be there a lot. I'm going to see them a lot. The atmospheric thrusters I will probably use much sooner. But the drills, I think they're going to be... Uh, yeah, they're going to be hanging there for weeks. Possibly longer. Whoa! Okay. Reversing down that was not as uh, stable as I would have liked. Here we go. Last drill. At least until I find another one. And by the time I get this on... My battery's looking. Uh, they've got 25% charge. That's probably enough to go out. Oh. Apparently. This is too high. <laughs> to get through the door. Detach. Lower the boom. Climb up the boom and remove the attachments. The adornments. There we are. Okay, let's go return this and let's get out there and find something. It's already after midday. It's lunchtime. I'm only getting out to scrap now. I checked my mailbox at the start of today. No new mail. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Oh. The sizzling sound whenever I get near that thing. <laughs> oh, actually... I still got a ton of junk in here. Oh, I do. Let's offload all the junk first. Oh, cheeky. Some of the cargo containers I keep picking up are hidden on the inventory screen. Which means I keep... I think I keep forgetting to offload them. This one was hidden. I keep looking at that screen being like, I swear I had more cargo containers than that. 57 metal grids. Oh, yeah. How many power cells? 30. Alright, let's get going. Unlock. Let's raise the wheels back up. Let's get the battery on the truck. Back onto auto. Off I go. Off to find some scrap. Oh. Yeah. thought this was someone's base, but I have just randomly driven towards a <laughs> some scrap that's appeared. Some danger fences. And a wind turbine I really don't care about. Okay. Though. I wonder about this little vehicle. Could I use it as part of the obstacle course? Oh. Gyro. Maybe. Uh, what's in the shed? More cargo containers. Event controller. Two event controllers. Programmable block. Okay. Let's check what's in these. Power cells. Nice. More power cells and some grids. Not bad. I pop the programmable block onto the truck. Same with the event controllers. It's so that sorted. Let's get the gyro off here. I think I'm going to keep looking. I don't think this is a big enough piece of scrap for me to work with. For my uh, obstacle course. I'm going to use, need to use my crane to lift that up because I cannot pick it up. So I haven't been able to repeat that magical lifting that I did with the gyroscope with the telehandler. I don't actually know how I managed to make that something I could lift up at that point. Very odd. I 
Oh no. Taking it away. Okay, that was locked to the No! <laughs> uh was locked to the ground, thought I was locked to the gyro, unlocked myself, and kicked the gyro away. Of course. I wonder if I can get away with just doing this. Yeah. And lock and lock. Everything's locked. Perfect. The wind turbine could actually make a decent obstacle. The whole tower. I'm not far from home. Like, I'm only four and a half k's away. Yeah, let's take the whole thing home. Let's do it. Been a while since I've carried a wind turbine. Makes for a good sort of U-turn type point. All right, we're locked. Let's free it. And let's go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, this sort of works. Actually, that works really well. And away we go. Straight back home, and then I'll come out and grab some more stuff. Oh! Oh, that fence was really close. Those fences can do a number on your rovers if you're not careful. This is disturbingly stable. Ridiculously easy to bring home. <laughs> cool. Alright. I'll, um. Yeah. I'll mess my third person camera up. Uh, let's just pop this around the side here for now. I want to offload this quickly because I want to get back out there now and do stuff. So let's just extend this out and we'll just lay it straight on the ground. Like so. Perfect. One obstacle found. Oh. Is this someone's base? Or is this another thing of scrap? This is another thing of scrap. What do we have here? Oh no, this is someone's base. <laughs> Never mind. Or at least someone is scrapping this. What? On Earth? Hold up. <laughs> I d I've got to inspect what's going on here. Hydrogen engine. Using a mag plate to the mag plate to another hydrogen engine. Using a mag plate onto a medium cargo. Interesting. That's, that's a lot of... Um, risk to go to for a hydrogen engine or two. Huh. I I commend your uh, fearlessness, Volk. I'm going to keep on rolling. <laughs> Aha. Perfect. Some scrap is dead ahead. Oh. I haven't found one of these before. Oh, that makes a good obstacle. Yeah. All right, let's check this thing out. I found a school bus. North American styles. With a couple of wheels. Oh, I know what that is. Hidden behind those barred windows. Careful. Flat atmospheric thrusters. Oh, yeah. What I got in the bus? Anything in the... Got... Oh, we got a plushie in one of the benches. And some clang cola, some more clang cola. Data pad. <laughs> yep. Oh, some motors, nice. Alright, how's this? It's pretty mangled on this side. Yeah, this is going to be perfect. All right, I'm going to slap that on the trailer. <laughs> Take it whole. Because part of me wants to repair this. I think using this as one of the obstacles for the race, it's perfect for it. It's nice and big. It's nice and bright. It's obvious that you're going to have to go around it. It's perfect. But later on, if I ever need a troop transport, rip out half the chairs and you'll actually be able to walk down alongside here and sit in the other ones. Could even perhaps turn the chairs so that they're all facing inward. And then you'll be able to walk down the middle and sit on either side. And this will be able to be a pretty effective troop carrier. 
Yes. Uh, not to mention the two flatmos on the front that I am keen to grab. So, how heavy is this thing? <laughs> That's the other part of it. I think it's going to be pretty hefty. And this is where people are thinking, why, Splitty? Why haven't you put... Oh. I'm thinking it myself. Why haven't I put the outriggers on this yet? I really should have put some outriggers on this. I think the bus might actually be too heavy. At least to pick up from the side. Okay. Um, what if... Push out. And drive forward. A little bit. And try and spin this. So my better access is on it. Pick it up now. I really can't. Oh, maybe? No. Spin. No. No. <laughs> the school bus is too heavy. Um. Okay, we're gonna have to try a different approach then. What if, what if I put it on its wheels? And I try and drive with it in front of me? Could I do that? We'll give it a try. So what I need to do, come around behind it, lift up its back end, and leave it driving on those front wheels. And see how hard it is to drive with pushing it. So basically I'm reversing with one trailer while towing another. Part of the problem I'm running into here is that I haven't got any uh, scrap components inside my crane. So it's, it's mass is really quite low. Okay. It's up on its wheels. Need to, need to turn off a bunch of these hinges. Let's turn off the wrist hinges. No, it's parking brakes on. Come on. So, hack the rover cockpit. Turn off the park brake. Grab the parts back out of it. And now see what happens. Can I try and drive? Okay. Let's get my wheels back on the ground. Yeah, that's what I was th thought was going to happen. Um, so, if I extend this out as far as it can go, make this as long a tow hitch as possible. Why isn't one of those hinges off? Oh, it's got massive braking torque when it's off. Why would I do that? Why did I do that? Don't need that for these, do I? So what I'm trying to do is see if I have enough crane length that I can actually get this bus lined up behind the other trailer. I'm going to hazard a guess and say no, I do not. But I'm curious nonetheless. This whole situation is just so dumb. What am I doing? I'm going to tip my crane over at this, right? Come on. Come on, Crane, get back on your wheels. You can do it. You can do it. And I think the Crane might just barely be long enough. Maybe. Oh, actually. <laughs> this could work out interestingly. Um, because... I've now got the Crane back on the ground... I drive this through. Can I lift up the bus? And get it actually on the truck this way? Is that possible? I think it might be possible. I've lifted the bus. Now, I'm going to gingerly drive forward, try and get the bus to come around and over the trailer. Oh, almost. 
Then we'll switch back to the crane. Then bend the elbow. And lock, lock. Go back to my crane. Unlock. And I now have a double length trailer. <laughs> yes! Ah. Brilliant stupidity. If I get home in one piece, this isn't as stupid as it looks. Oh, wait a second. Um, I need to turn all my wrist things back on. Now, obviously, the crane truck still has a bit of a mass problem compared to its trailer now. And the trailer doesn't have wheels that are perfectly aligned, so I'm not going to go quickly. But holy cow, this is actually working. I do have 12 kilometers to travel like this, though. But I want this bus. Really want this bus. Nope, not going to that. I am not taking any major detours with this. So happy, though. Really wanted one of these buses. The truck part of the trailer is floating most of the time. We have traveled one kilometer. Yeah, no! Nope. Nope. What I corrected. <laughs> okay. This is this is gonna be a long drive. This is gonna be a really long drive. I literally the last hill before home and I'd slowed down for it and that's when I, oh, kidding me <laughs> I'd just driven so far uh, everything was perfect I think I just exploded some of the bumper I don't think it was anything more dramatic than that jeez but I am home no, not again! I think I lost some more that time. Uh, this might actually work to my benefit. Never mind. I was about to say, this might work to my benefit because then I can just unlock the trailer locks and it'll just fall off. In fact, what will happen if I do that? Uh, let's pop it around the side here. Nope. Okay. Sure. It's going to drop there now. That's what's happening. Uh, it is on the back end, so it's that one and that one. Nope, I'm on the wrong control. It is that one and that one. Oh, what an offload. <laughs> Perfection. There we go. We have a, uh, let's say, a sideways mounted school bus. Might need to put a battery on it and put a couple extra wheels on it so I can drive it around under its own power. That might make life a bit easier. Okay, can I get this bus functional? Uh, I need to replace these short wheel suspensions with full-size ones, if I can. And then probably turn my lights on, that'd help too. I might rip out these hydrogen tanks, try and get these flat mows off the front. And then try and get one of my batteries, possibly one of the ones from the uh, from the little failed forklift, in there as well. Because getting this thing mobile uh, under its own power will be really quite useful. Because then I can move it and rearrange any sort of course that I use it for much more easily. Can I get up high enough on that? Yeah, maybe. Oh, nope. Stop being like that. Let me get up there. Oh. Ow. Oh. I just, just want to get to the spot so I can put the wheel on. Same with this one. Let's go take those inside. First flat atmospheric thrusters. 
don't have a use for them right now. <laughs> but it's nice to have them just in case. Need to make a pallet for them. Oh, actually, the little ones I could probably put on the same pallet as the little Atmos. Since they're all stuck in a line, these could be stuck along the front. Right, hydrogen engine, does it have any fuel in it? Uh, it does. So I can probably get this up on a piston hinge something in order to get those wheels replaced without needing to do much. Well, without needing to get a battery over here anyway. Which would be nice because I'm annoyingly further from the base than I would have liked to be. Place the suspensions down and that way once I get it rolled over just add the wheels and we're good. Need to make sure these two are off steer. There you go, four wheels on the bus. And let's see if I can get this thing to flip over. Yeah, that's not the direction I wanted that to go. Hmm. If I go from here, that's more like it. Energy low. Oh, almost got it over. That's close. And there we go. Yeah. Have a drivable bus. Now, because the wheel suspensions are very close to some blocks, let's increase the suspension strength up quite a lot. Make it run quite firm. And then also reduce the steering on the two at the front, which will probably be these two. I can't remember which way around I did it. The ones that don't have steer the ones that do have steering enabled, they're the ones I need to reduce the angle on. Let's go to twelve. It'll very much give it the turning circle of a bus, but as you can see, now even when I'm turning, the wheels barely get to scraping on any of the blocks around them. Oh. Apparently I'm still dressed like Capac. I should go fix that. <laughs> I also need to get a connector set up for this thing so that I can hook it up to the base. All uh, right. Don't need to fix this up too much just yet, but I do plan on fixing it up more. What I should do, since it's daylight, is probably go out looking for some more scrap like this that I can use for the course. Because at the moment I've got the wind turbine, which I think I'll use as the far point marker. So it's get the big wheel, take it around the wind turbine and bring it back and then I can park the bus in a spot that'll make them make the wheel have to go around it and things like that which I think could be good. I don't normally leave the base this way so I'm gonna go this way this time just for something different. I normally go west to try and hold the daylight for as long as possible but I don't think I want to scrap for that long so I'm happy if it gets dark and encourages me to come home. Particularly if I do come across something like another bus, I'm going to have to bring the whole bus again. But this time I might have a better way of doing things because from what I just learned from repairing one of them, I should be able to lift up the front end of the bus and then reverse my trailer under it, drop it, and lock it down that way rather than having to use my crane and messing around with that. I think it should be doable to hack it and use its own engine to power a piston to lift it up. Of course, that's assuming I come across one. Oh. Oh, I missed it. Dang it. <sighs> Poop. There was some scrap, but it is uh, now lost. Ooh. The thing I have found is up in the mountains. I'm pretty lightly loaded, so there's no reason I shouldn't be able to go up there and check this out. <laughs> and then discover it's actually on the other side that could have just driven around. Could be that. Oh, uh, it's a little service station thing. Hmm. Just having unhelpful thoughts about bringing the whole building with me. All right, what do we got? Could I use this thing? Oh! Oh! Hello! 
extra sci-fi large thruster. Um, yeah, I could bring this back intact and then extricate the thruster when I get home and use this as an obstacle. It's orange, which is helpful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. All right, that's coming as is. What have we got in here? Oh, got a tree growing inside. Power cells. Let's grind these out. Med kits. Bottles and a drill. Full. Oh, <laughs> another um, proficient welder. All right, let's grab this vehicle. It should be light enough for me to pick it up and lift it over and put it on the truck. I hope. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, don't. You're okay. Don't, don't tip any further. Come on. Down we go. Down we go. Uh, is that good? Uh, it's not really great. Let's go a little bit further across. Okay, cool. Um, locked. Done. Let's get out of here. Well, that's one thing found. Another large thruster. I wonder whether it's worthwhile continuing to go when my truck is as full as it looks right now, or whether I just drive straight back home and come back out again. Doing this all as kind of single loads right now. Ah, uh, it's probably fine to see if I spot something. Head home, but see if I spot something on the way. Well, 4.2k is that way. I saw something up ahead as well. Oh, there's something just there. I think that might be someone's home just here. Yeah, this has got to be someone's home. No, oh, Snuggles home. <laughs> I saw two wind turbines. Uh, turbines. I'm like, yeah, that's definitely not a not a scrap. I'm not that generous with scrap. <laughs> to give two turbines on the one thing. I think I might be going the wrong way. I think I might have lost my heading a bit. Oh, nope. I was wrong. <laughs> I was very wrong. Here it is. Uh, there's nothing here that's going to... Oh, actually... This might be perfect. So what I've got in front of me right now is a wind turbine. That doesn't actually work as a wind turbine. That could be perfect. For a decorative piece for the race course. Hmm. Also got what look what looks like it could be the remnants of a combine harvester. Which could also work fairly well as another obstacle. I think I want the wind turbine more. I think this thing's gonna be a lot harder to move, so let's just take the good bits. Like this medium cargo container. Also, this thing's really heavy. And I am not in a good position to pick up something that's really heavy. Okay, so we can grab that out. Is there anything else on this that's going to be good for me? This engine, I think I'll just take the power cell from. And otherwise, I think this is all pretty much the only good stuff in here. Unlike when I first found one of these, I don't really need to worry about the large steel tubes that are in things like the hinges. Uh, that's not really that valuable to me anymore. I've got lots of large steel tubes. So I think I can just... I mean, I grabbed them anyway, but I could have just ignored them. And that would have been fine. Alright, let's get that wind turbine. I really want that. I just really want the windmill because I think it'll look cool at my base. Especially if I build up the rotor to the point that it's functional and I have it slowly drifting. I think that'll look awesome. Now, uh, where am I going to add this medium cargo to my rover? Where's this one going? Uh, I could replace this conveyor junction back here. Oops. Or I could continue doing the ones up front. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe I'll empty out this connector and I'll start replacing this. I think I've got to re remove all three of these blocks in order to get the medium cargo in that spot. So, medium. Move all the bits. Grind off these bits. And then a new cargo container on board. And that takes me to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not too bad. No, nope, don't fall off. <laughs> Especially don't fall off onto my head. Do not want to be pancake. Oh, wow. It has been so long since I have looked at this crane and it is so incomplete. Oh, it really deserves a proper finish of it. But I'm not sure it's ever going to get it the way things are going. Like I'm more likely to just make something that flies instead. Now, this should be liftable just like the other one. But it may well be a lot heavier with all that all those extra steel plates at the top end of things so I'm gonna need to be cautious at least a little bit I think I'll try and grab it a bit closer to the top but also I'm gonna drive around the other side so I'm not trying to grab it anywhere near those subgrids I want to go up like that down like that Track that. I want to keep going up like that. And I need to swap to my other controls so that I can bring it over all the way. And over like so. And we're good. Well, <laughs> we're as good as it's going to get. And now to drive home. Cool. So I've got two obstacles, two markers. And one of them is a really cool marker that I may well repurpose and attach to my base properly. Just because I think it'll be cool. Oh, awesome. I'm really happy with this. I think that's good enough with that. When I get home, I can work on my sign. What have I found there? Not that I can do anything with it, but... What? Is this another heli... Oh, it is another helicopter. Uh, I should quickly check this. Whoa, there's something in front of me. I should quickly check this out. Uh, okay, wheel. Reason I think I should check, I thought I should check this out. Whoa. Okay, there, there's something else going on here. Oh. This was carrying a vehicle of some sort. The reason I thought I should check this out is that these sometimes, these things, sometimes have a hydrogen thruster on them. But not seeing one on here. Oh, there's a plushie! Give me the plushie. I got the plushie? I got the plushie. I have plans. Uh, let's also take this automaton's thing. Uh, I might try and take this air, air vent too. Right, I think I'm done here. Unless there's something in one of these chairs that I want. Doesn't look like it. Yep, cool. I'm out of here. Yeah. I wish I could have brought this helicopter back because I think it would have made a really cool course marker. But... I have the wind turbine <laughs> and the van on the back. And offloading the wind turbine so that I can change out the thing and I've also got, actually I can use my helicopter what am I talking about I've got a helicopter I can use it the helicopter I have at home I can use as a mar course marker what, I, I, why had that not occurred to me what's wrong with me <laughs> that should have occurred oh man I've got a bus I've got a helicopter I've got a functional wind turbine and a subgrid wind mill thing um I, yeah I'm sorted I'm good I'm good on the helicopter front I've got the one that I've got back at home oh what's that over there oh oh no oh no I did not want to find good scrap like this right now 
This is bad timing. <laughs> oh no. Okay. I have a problem. I have a big problem. The big problem I have is I really want a second warehouse and I've just found one. I've... Ooh. How... Mm. First of all, what's in here? Uh, got a whole lot of shelves. Cool. That's actually not a bad thing because... I mean... This bit of terrain here is a bad thing. But it's not a bad thing that this is an empty one because I that makes it easier to bring home. Or to slap wheels on and bring home. And, you know, it wouldn't be bad to have another one of these as well. But I really want the warehouse. The warehouse is the thing I want. So I'm trying to think of how I can deal with that. How can I bring that warehouse home when I have to take my rig back home to offload everything. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to handle this. Um. Okay. Think, 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 think. If I... If I use... The parts that I've got available to me here... Can I make, um, can I make this thing mobile? It's got a couple of small batteries on it, so it's got, it's got power. Can I make this into a rover? Or even can I just make this a powered grid? It doesn't, I don't think it actually needs to be, but if I can make this a grid that I own, and then I take the scrap beacon off my crane... Put it on that. Then I should be able to come back here with my crane once I've offloaded it and grab everything. Ruined one of the batteries. That's fine though. Do I have the parts to, to repair that cockpit? Oh, I'm one computer short. That's fine though. I've got a computer around here somewhere. I've got one in the cargo container. I've also probably got one in this door. There we go. Okay, I can rename the rover now. That means I own it enough. There's another battery on here that I don't own, though. Where is it? Right here. Two days of power. All right, let's take my scrap beacon off. Slap it on this new little rover. Get home and then come offload as quickly as I can and come back. And then try and roverize that building. Totally not what I was thinking I was going to be doing, but I guess that's how it is. I'm pretty close to home, fortunately. So... Getting, I don't have to go too far with the warehouse when I decide to move it. Oh, uh, GPS, GPS. <laughs> that could have been bad. I do have a heading, like I would just be able to go northeast pretty much from base, but oof, that could have been really bad. Let's do some quickish offloading. Right, I'm just going to drop this on the ground with the other one for now. Sort them out later. Because I've actually been told that someone's happy to give me a truck that I can use as a marker as well. And I think having a flatliner for a marker would be really handy. So I'm going to go and collect that before I go and collect the warehouse. So I think the warehouse is going to be a whole big thing. So I want to get all the stuff I need for the other bits and pieces first. I love it. I cleaned up spent so much time tidying up and now I've made a complete mess of the place again. So for everyone who was like, oh, you made your scrapyard tidy, you shouldn't have done that. Well, didn't last long. This is the most indelicate way that I've offloaded stuff. But it's quick. <laughs> That's kind of fun too. Okay, that's all offloaded. Let's try and get this gyro up the hill, though. Alright, so I'm going to head on over to Tarmac's base and pick up this uh, truck that they've offered kindly for me to be able to use for an obstacle. It's perfect. Because having one of the flatbeds, like my flatliner here, is kind of a good obstacle. 
because I might be able to make it so that with the flatbed part, if I line it upright, you could maybe ramp the ball, ball, the, the wheel over it, but maybe not. Who knows? It might be a shortcut, it might not. And that's what I kind of like, and so I think it'll be really cool for that. So let's do some driving, I suppose. <laughs> Lots more driving. It's always fun going and visiting people at their bases. Getting to see how different people have approached different things and the different problems that the scrapyard presents. I quite enjoy it. It's a long way to drive sometimes, but it's worth it, I think. Hello, Tarmac. You might be able... Oh, I'm probably still too far away. And parked. Hello. Ah, good. You can hear me. Excellent. <laughs> uh, is this the truck right here? This one down here? The white one? Awesome. That'll be perfect. Oh, it's one of the ones that has the side rails on it. Not the full-on flatbed. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's watch me embarrass myself as I attempt to lift it up with my crane and possibly slightly roll my crane. As I try and get it onto my flatbed. Oh, lost some thrusters with it. Ouch. Oh, this is pretty light. You managed to get all the heavy stuff out of it, which is great. Makes it a bit easier for me. Cool. Loaded and ready to go. Thanks for that. This will be great. It'll be a good little obstacle. Okay. So I now need to get myself home without getting distracted by too much other scrap so that I can then drive back to where that warehouse was and start thinking about how on earth I managed to get the warehouse to become a rover. Because I'm going to have to roverize it. And that's going to be interesting. I may need to use one or more of those drills. I may need to set up a vehicle with some of my grid drills so I can right click mine and remove some stuff. I don't think there's likely to be much in these buildings here for me. Oh, but... Maybe I'll see if this thing's one of the ones with the medical components. Uh, it is not. It has a medium cargo container. I'll take that. And we'll do the same as before. I'll remove the rear connector, front connector, whatever it is. Empty the connector. Get rid of that. And then I'll merge block it up there. And locked. Wow. <laughs> that went very nicely. And connect it back on. Uh, small batteries. Yeah, what the heck. Grab a couple of those. Which, no, they're not worth my time. Um. No, let's go. I'm done here. Medium cargo was worth it. But tiny batteries, totally not. I gotta get home. Okay. Back home. Drop this off. Grab stuff to make big wheels. Maybe drill. I'm not sure about the drill. Why did I get out of the cockpit? I need to use my crane to get this thing off. Uh, and I should probably park in a better spot to get it off the back more easily. Oh, I have an idea. I have a terrible idea. Uh, this might be quicker. <laughs> ah, sometimes terrible ideas work out really well. That's a quick way to offload. Um, yeah. Drill. Drill, drill, drill. What to do about a drill? Might be really handy. I'm going to bring one. So, if I put this... If I bring this drill... And have I got a little battery somewhere around here on the ground? No. But if I grab this little battery... I wonder... If I can make myself just the tiniest little grid... That I can move around, attach to the crane... And maybe right-click mine with it? Oh yeah, this could work perfectly. I just put a little control seat on here. Uh, oh, actually, it's not going to work perfectly, but it might work okay. 
I'm going to damage the floor a little bit. But if I just sit on that, or even better, I put a couple of little wheels on this, <laughs> I should be able to just drive on the floor of the other warehouse. And that's it. That's all I need. Just drive around on it. With right click, drill, and I'll clear the floor. Yep. I am making a super quick rover. That's what I'm doing. Oh no. Oh, that's right. This is the way I block certain things from being built. You can't get block tools. With drills on your hotbar. So I'm just going to have to turn it on regular and hope that it's drilling far enough, which makes this probably a lot less useful. Oh well. We'll give it a go anyway. Because it'll be fun. Alright. Load this up on the flatbed with the crane. And I'll head back to the, the site. Now, this is a little sketchy because I'm probably going to end up locking down some of the wheels instead of the rest of the grid. Well, hopefully this doesn't end up causing a problem. If I unlock from there... Uh-oh. 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 Oh, I've done a bad thing. <laughs> oh dear. That's a murder trap. Oh, that's bad. Okay, I've done a bad thing. Very bad thing. Take off that wheel. Take off that wheel. Nope. And then I might just flick this on there without wheels. We can replace the wheels at the other end if it ends up being needed. That's probably a better idea. Oops. Yeah. Don't don't lock down um don't lock down wheels. It's bad. Then we go lock. That should be safe. Okay. Yes, it's worked. Yes. Okay. This is excellent news. Alrighty, well, next time I'm going to turn this warehouse with as much of its base as I can manage into a rover so I can drive it back to my base, <laughs> take off the wheels, and put it down as another warehouse. Because I want another warehouse down there. I had a reason for it, and I've already forgotten what that reason was, but I did have a reason for wanting another warehouse. I'm sure it'll come to me. So yeah, next time, roverizing a warehouse and, hopefully, setting up the course and maybe even getting some of the contestants through. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then.